Diablo Cove, located in the Pacific Ocean, is directly adjacent on the shoreline to Diablo Canyon Power Plant. As part of its operations, it discharges warmer water into the ocean. In this video, we're going to take a look at its effects on the marine environment. As in any dynamic marine environment, there are changes within the cove, as it is affected not only by the plant's discharge, but through natural phenomena such as El Nino and winter storm events. Federal and state regulations limit the water temperature to no warmer than 22 degrees Fahrenheit than incoming seawater. The discharge from the plant has never exceeded that limitation, and our team of highly qualified divers and marine biologists find the water in the cove typically about 10% below the requirement of 22 degrees. For this reason, within Diablo Cove, the biomass has remained the same. However, there is a greater occurrence of warm water-loving species coexisting with cold water loving species, such as copper rockfish, yellowtail, and wolf eels. The presence of great whites has also been increasing in the cove, and the tide pools along the shoreline are alive with anemones, mussels, barnacles, and abalone. Through what has become the longest running marine biological study in the United States, PG&E has performed extensive monitoring in Diablo Cove and the shoreline at its dozens of control stations since 1976, beginning eight years prior to plant operation. Quarterly intertidal sampling is also conducted, counting invertebrates and checking the percentage of algae cover. These studies are also shared with regulators. Additionally, a one nautical mile exclusion area acts as a de facto marine preserve for animals such as the federally protected black abalone and southern sea otters. Peregrine falcons that nest on Diablo Rock in the northern part of the cove are also protected. Once the power plant ceases operating and transitions to decommissioning in 2025, our marine scientists expect warmer water fish will move south and colder water fish will either stay or move into the cove. It is expected the shift back to pre-operational conditions will happen over a few years. For more information on the decommissioning of Diablo Canyon Power Plant, visit pge.com slash Diablo decommissioning.